fellowship is for only two international students so it's really 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 competitive but he wants to watch a lengthy video that's why i put so much more information in the description box and guys we now have a community tab yay so you guys get to check out certain information that i am not able to make a video on on the community nursing and all of those good stuff so please show me some love on this video by clicking like and by commenting and by sharing and definitely subscribing if you haven't subscribed already hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm Maria Mums here thank you guys for clicking on my videos and i really appreciate the comments and the likes that has been shown on my previous videos and in today's video i will be talking about scholarship for people in the medical field so today's video is pretty much going to be straightforward as always i give it to you guys hot pot we're talking about scholarships that are for people in the medical sciences in the medical field biomedical sciences bioengineering medicine pharmacology so if this is the kind of video you would like to watch stay tuned Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Miriam was here. Thank you guys for all of the love and support that has been shown on my channel. If you are a new subscriber, welcome, welcome, welcome. And for those of you who are returning subscribers, thank you for always clicking on the video. Thank you for showing support by liking, sharing, commenting. If you are just watching and you haven't subscribed yet, I would urge you guys to go ahead and subscribe. So in today's video, like I said, we'll be talking about scholarships all over the world for people in the medical field. So biomedical sciences, bioengineering and pharmacology, ETC. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Guys, the very first scholarship I'll be talking about today is the University of Auckland Scholarship of Medical Sciences for International Students. University of Auckland Scholarship of Medical Sciences for International Students. The University of Auckland is actually in New Zealand and um, it's going to be a tuition fee credit of $20,000 per year for two years towards your study of the medical sciences. And the um, programs that this scholarship covers include Masters in Biomedical Science, Pharmacology, Physiology and the rest. There was like a whole bunch of um, programs that this scholarship covers but because of time, I'm just going to list only these three. Um, this scholarship is very competitive and they would be picking out only five international students. You must not have started any other program before you apply for this scholarship. You need to apply for the scholarship and then apply to the school in December. And this scholarship actually runs twice in a year. So the first batch has already passed. It opened in March and it's ended in May. And now I'm talking about the second batch. The second batch actually opens in October. That's a very long time. I need you to apply for the scholarship in October and then apply to the school in December. And they will definitely let you know before December if you've gotten the scholarship and then you can further apply to the school. Now, if you've gotten the scholarship, that's a very great advantage for you to put in your application to the school because why not? If you've already gotten the scholarship towards attending the school, they definitely most likely would give you the school. They have to give you admission to the school, right? The second scholarship that I'll be talking about in today's video is the Swansea University in the UK. So the Swansea University is offering a fully funded tuition fee scholarship with a stipend of £15,000 per year and there is a possibility of additional funds for research expenses when you are being admitted to the university. This, this scholarship actually starts in October 2021 so there's a lot of time for you to prepare and gather your documents. It's a PhD scholarship and it's for international students of any nationality. It is for international students of any nationality and one of the criteria for admission of this scholarship is that you need to have a second class upper and or an MSc in biochem, biomedical engineering, biosciences, biophysics, or molecular biology. So they need you to have a second class upper in your undergrad or and so it's or and so if it's either way if you if you don't have it okay if you have it the better so you need to have an msc in biochemistry biomedical engineering biosciences biophysics and molecular biology um, successful candidates will get to the opportunity to benefit from the multidisciplinary study in both the university of swansea in the uk and university of texas medical center here in the u.s 
For the applications, they really need you to have your research scholarship form, equality, diversity and inclusion form, your CV and your cover letter. All of these forms I will be putting in the description box below. Guys, 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 I urge you guys to please check the description box below. Like, I try my best to cut the amount of time spent on these videos because nobody wants to watch a very long video right nobody wants to watch a lengthy video that's why i put so much more information in the description box and guys we now have a community tab yay so you guys get to check out certain information that i am not able to make a video on on the community tab like certain written documentation on scholarships that are available and please 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 go on and engage on the community tab because i'll be posting very often on the community tab where you can get more information on scholarships i will be leaving the link to a june 23rd virtual seminar that the university of swansea in the uk will be giving as well the application of for this biomed for this medical science scholarship and on the 2nd of July so those of you who are already in the medical field and you have some of this your documentation ready do not hesitate to apply and who knows you might get in the third scholarship is the you know, the Bayer Foundation scholarship for science and medical studies in Germany the Bayer Foundation scholarship for science and medical sciences in medical studies in Germany there are five different programs for this scholarship there is the Otto Bayer there's the Jeff Schnell, there's a Carl and Kurt, and then I hope I'm not murdering these names, but there are five different scholarships, five different subgroups for these scholarships. Each of them gives different scholarships. So to clarify what I just said, the Jeff Schnell, for instance, gives bioengineering, bioinformatics, biochem, pharmaceuticals, molecular biology. Of course, I'll be leaving the link in the description box. And if you click on each of these five different scholarships to know where your category falls into, because the scholarship is actually huge, they try to curb into um, specifics. So if you have a specific program that you want to study, you click on the specific scholarship that offers that program, if that makes sense. For vocationally oriented foreign students, you need to go click on the Hermann Stenga scholarship because that is kind of like not long it's just a short period of time the scholarship actually isn't that long for the vocationally oriented foreign students but then for the rest of it it's like a full biomedical studies uh, the requirements for this scholarship include um, english language requirements your transcripts your job application pictures and everything else as always, I will be leaving the link in the description box. If this is something you are interested in, you should definitely give it a shot. The deadline for this scholarship has not been specified. So I want to believe it's on a rolling basis. I will leave the link in the description box for if you are interested, you can go ahead and click on it and get more information on this. The fourth scholarship that I'll be sharing in today's video is the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota Fellowship. This fellowship is for only two international students. So it's really, really, really competitive. They are providing to international students the, uh, the opportunity to have a fellowship with them for colon and rectal surgery. Mayo Clinic is pretty popular. This research fellowship begins in July of each year. If you know you are interested in colon and rectal surgery or you already have some form of experience in there and you want to get a fellowship to boost your credentials, this is a correct and appropriate opportunity for you to try because they need international students to apply and complete a general surgery residency program. If you have your degree, or if you have your your certificate from um, a non-accredited uh, from an institution that is non-accredited by the graduate medical education program then you should apply so many clauses that are stated in this scholarship and that's why i would be giving the link and all of the information you need in the description box there is an app they need you to put, apply through and the app is called recruit they need you to put your cv your photograph your transcript three letters of recommendation and after you've gone through this process and you are shortlisted they would consider you for a personal interview with the head of this program um so yeah 
the this program is i feel like it is very very competitive but i still wanted to put it out there for those of you who are interested in doing a fellowship in colon and rectal surgery in minnesota this is something you guys should definitely try so guys this is the end of the video it's a very short and quick one um i would be releasing more videos related to medical sciences and nursing and all of this good stuff so please show me some love on this video by clicking like and by commenting and by sharing and definitely subscribing if you haven't subscribed already. Until next time guys, bye!